this is Stumpy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stumpy's a lovely world. Good morning, William, William Beaver! Would you put some clothes on, William? You're gonna get frostbite! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's like everyone's worst nightmare when you go out in the morning and you realize you're not wearing any. Oh no, Fizz! What's going on today? <laughs> Good morning, Polly! Hello, everyone! Ah, right, with the uh, the chaos started early. We've got Esther running inside my bedroom, dropping feathers all over the place. Barnaby is the only one with any sort of normality this morning. Oh, Esther's off. Esther's off on a journey. See, I feel, I feel like there should be like a... um. Like a side story, like this is the main episode, and then there'll be like a little follow-up episode like next week, which is like Esther's little side story and her little personal adventure, getting into trouble around the house. No, she wants to go back to the balcony, okay, you can go back there. Anyway, uh, let's go have my breakfast. Nom, 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 nom. Um, very tasty. Uh, you can follow me, Barnaby. Uh, while everyone um, gets dressed, <laughs> I'll go uh, down to the uh, the love garden to uh, let you all know who I'm adding to it. And then we are going to go and play <clears throat> Frumpel Dumpel, which is the name of the mini game. Why is it called that name? You'll find out in a moment. I have a funny story to, to share with you as to why it's called Frumple Dumple. Uh, right then, uh, today first to the Love Garden, I'm going to add uh, just Julia. And uh, that is because of this incredible, lovely uh, world themed piece of artwork. And actually, it's got William not wearing very many clothes <laughs> in the picture as well. But as an actual real life tiny beaver. And yeah, I don't need to tell you why I'm adding Julia. You can just see how amazing this artwork is with the realistic animal helpers and the uh, real life Stampy who's looking very, very happy as I am in real life today. Uh, so right then, thank you uh, for the uh, the picture, Julia, and welcome to my love garden. Uh, Barnaby, uh, let's go and get... Uh, oh, no, you're not Barnaby, you're a pig. Um, Barnaby, let's get you to the uh, the doghouse. Uh, because we're playing a mini game, of course, I'm going to be joined by the uh, the winning duo of uh, Duncan and Mittens, will be our observers for the, the game. And if you didn't see the last episode, basically it's a game all about uh, trying to reach the top of a, um, of a box, basically. Uh, Duncan... Duncan, there you are, Duncan. Uh, yeah, so basically you have a bunch of trapdoors on the walls. You can either flap up or flap down two trapdoors on your go. And you could do a combination, like you could flap one up and then flap one down if you wanted uh, as well. Uh, there you go, Mittens. Yeah, you don't need to like commit to doing both, like for both of them. Uh, so yeah, that's basically what the aim of the game is. And then there's like a... Um, uh, a block at the the top that you need to to reach, and uh, you're not doing it as like a race. Like you're you're taking it in turns uh, as you do it going through. So you have like plenty of time to think about what you want to do. Uh, the only like big rules, I guess, is that you're not allowed to flap down a trap door that someone is standing on. Uh, you're not allowed to like trap like. Uh, is there any trap doors here? Um, there isn't. Uh, but you're not allowed to like flap a trap door like through yourself. Uh, so you can't like trap a flap door and like uh, <laughs> flip a trap door and then like jump through it and do like glitchy stuff. And if you fail the jump that you're trying to, to make, uh, then you... Um Oh uh, yeah, that's kind of the end of your go. Are you guys going to travel with me? Actually, I don't think you should because we're going to come out on the other side and we're going to be a weird dog slash cat slash smaller cat combo. Yeah, I don't end up with a trunk either, Fizzy. We should probably go uh, one at a time. So let's go inside. Uh, let's go and press the button and teleport off to the fun land. Okay, I think I should have arrived now. So um, here's the game in all of its glory. Uh, I'm trying to remember what what state it was left in. All right, no, let me tell you the story of how how the game ended up becoming called Frumpel Dumple first. So basically, I was doing a live stream and someone called Frumpel Dumple uh, commented, and I was just like, Frumpel Dumple is a great name, and they were like, thank you. And then I said that you know what, Frumpel Dumple sounds like the kind of name I would have for a mini game. And uh, then they said uh, on Twitter that if I did ever wanted to use Frumple Dumple as a mini game, they would be more than happy to do that. And then they recommended that I build a game which is all about trying to climb a wall by flapping open trap doors. And I was like, uh, kind of just built one of those, but didn't have a name for it. I'm going to use your name. And it was just the weirdest coincidence that I didn't have a name for the game. He said I could use it for a game and then the game wasn't exactly the same. It was more of a race, but uh, yeah. Too many weird coincidences. I was like, right, okay, this game is now Frumple Dumple. So, welcome to Frumple Dumple, everyone. Uh, welcome to Frumple Dumple, everyone. Where is everyone? Where am I? Where am I? Oh, <laughs> guy, the game said, no, that, that's just a hill. No, no, that's the wrong trap door, William. That's not the game. See, they haven't played it yet. <laughs> William thinks he's won. <laughs> the game is played in here. So, uh, yeah, I guess we can go straight into it. So, the worst thing of doing it is we do a four-player game. 
and then the winner will get into the final, and then the three that didn't win will have a three-player game and then play against the other person in the uh, the final. So, uh, William, uh, would you like to, to go first? So you can flap up any two trap doors that you, uh, that you like, and then the goal is to get to the top layer and uh, flap open one there so that you can then reach the middle. So let's just go like William, Polly, Fizzy, me. And if everyone just kind of takes that go after the last person's go. So you can like start jumping up uh, straight away. You can use, of course, trapdoors that other people have done. But you don't have to like stay up at the top. But it does work out. Oh, this one shouldn't be open. Uh, it does kind of work out quite well because you kind of block people. So I couldn't jump onto a trap door that someone else is on. So like Fizzy couldn't jump to where Willie's. Oh, so Fizzy can't do what he just tried to do. <laughs> what a perfect Fizzy decided to demonstrate <laughs> what I was just uh, just describing. And you know what, Fizzy? Yeah, there we go. That can be your go if you <laughs> if you want. You can flap that trap door. I mean, it can actually. You know what? Could it help you? Could you jump from like? here up to there oh you could okay if you want to flap the middle one up you are more than welcome to do that but for me i'm gonna have my go i'm gonna try and start climbing up just somewhere away from everyone else so let's go like here and uh let's just do a steep one let's just go play it safe and jump up to the uh the top here for for my go so right uh back round to uh to william's turn now so of course the real aim is to get to this layer here and be standing on it when you start your go because then you can flap this one and then the one above and then make the the jump and so obviously not only do you want to make sure you can climb high enough uh you want to to make sure that you're stopping everyone else from climbing high enough because oh polly and william uh, but, oh, oh, Polly's higher. One of us is going to have to stop Polly. But I don't want to have to do it on my go because I want to be making progress on my go. So let's uh, let's see what Fizzy does. Uh, and then uh, depending on whether he tries to to block Polly, then oh, 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 he has. So Polly, I don't, I don't know if there's anywhere Polly could jump to in order to make it to the top level. Because as I said, you can't pile straight up. So I don't know if she has any other options for places to, to jump. So, uh, right, what am I going to do? Hmm. See, I don't want to go too high this way because I don't want to help William. I might go back this way. I might go here and then maybe like over here because now I'm kind of like really out the way from everyone else. So as long as everyone <laughs> leaves me alone, I might have a, a good chance to, to get to the to get to get the, the top. And uh, right, oh no, remember Fizzy, you're not allowed to jump on, uh, on trapdoors that other people are standing on. So right, it's your go now, William. Uh, I've just uh, just had my go, so we've all gone round. There is a bit of an advantage uh, for going first, but it's kind of unavoidable. I guess we'll kind of just um, change around who gets to, to go first on each go. And oh, oh, wait a minute. Has we oh, was William, oh, oh I, th I think Polly can do I think Polly, I think you can, I think you've won Polly. I think you're what? Big shocker, Polly wins a mini game. Polly wins every single mini game we do at the moment. Well done, Polly. It just all happened like so suddenly. And it was suddenly got to the point where like, wait a minute. Wait a minute, you got to, I, th I think the thing is, is we're all being so selfish. <laughs> we're all, we're all focusing so much on ourselves, being able to, to get to the, the top. And we're not really blocking off other people. So Polly, you're, you're, you're done. You're, you're done for this round. You are in the grand finals. So the winner of this next round is going to be your opponent in the, uh, the grand finals. So it's going to be, uh, William, Fizzy and I going up against each other. So William, you went first last time. So this time you can go first, Fizzy. Then I'll go second and then William because then we're kind of like sharing out a little bit who goes first you could always build like a um like a simple contraption that you could use to like take it in terms of who goes first but to be fair going second actually helped me out quite nicely because i was able to use the first trap door that fizzy flapped open yeah and so william can do the same so of course he can't jump onto the one arm on but he because you, you can use other people's trap doors you can really make good progress and so that's something that we didn't really do too much in the uh in the the last round but could uh could work out uh pretty good i think you've got one more trap door you can do right william or did you did you do both i wasn't keeping count i don't know if you were keeping count but yeah remember you can either open or close too and oh oh <laughs> I think it's like, that's not the one I meant to do. Oh no, he missed his jump. <laughs> to be fair, it doesn't really matter because you can, oh no, I don't know if you can jump back up. I think you've kind of blocked yourself off now. Oh no, what a disaster. Right, Fizzy, Fizzy, you'll go now. Uh, so even though William wasn't able to help himself, he is definitely blocked off Fizzy. And no, Fizzy, no, no ender pearl. No, she, that, you can't go up with an ender pearl, Fizzy. <laughs> Stop celebrating. Go back to where you were and flap that down or you'll be disqualified for cheating and then we'll carry on. 
Are you going back to where you were? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give, give you to the count of three, Fizzy. Three, two, one. No, underneath. No, Fizzy, stop just flap. You can't just. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll tell you what, you'll, you'll, you'll flap that one open there, that is going to be one of your goes, and you can flap one more ov open now for your go, Fizzy, and then we will carry on. Right, it's looking great for me, but I know they're, they're going to be, like, really focusing on, uh, on stopping me now, because I'm, like, the clear leader now, and oh no, oh, I, sh I should have blocked off my path. Is, is William going to be able to, like, follow up from where I went? Um... God, tell you what, William does keep over the wrong ones. Oh, yeah, look, he is. Oh, but he can't pass me, though, because he can't jump through me. So he's got one more trapdoor he can do. So, oh, he's blocking me. He's blocking my He's blocking my head in. Right, so it's uh, it's your go now, Fizzy. It's, it's tricky. There's so many where it's, like, really awkward jumps because there's, like, trapdoors right above you. Oh, but oh, Fizzy made it. Okay, Fizzy's really close with me because even though he's lower than me, he's still got two more he can open. Oh, he's going to be so close to the top. Oh, no, has he made it? Is he actually- he's- oh! <laughs> did, did he miss the jump? Did he fall down? Did he miss the jump? He was so close! No, Fizzy, I said the rules. If you miss the jump, that's the end of your go. But there's the one that you left open earlier. Right, right. I think I should- as long as I don't mess this up, I think this should be doable for me. Oh, is it actually? Because I can't- I think I might have a really awkward jump if I want to make this. I think if I do that one there, I should be able to do it, but I don't- I'm not- I'm not gonna commit to open- uh, flapping open the other one, just in case I miss this job. I don't know if I'm just gonna bang my head, right? Wish me luck. Oh no! I banged my head! I banged my head! Okay, now I need to- I need to block off this route, because there's a route straight the- the way up there. So let's block off- let's maybe, um, if I do one there- oh no, there maybe? Maybe that's gonna- oh no, I- I, th I think William might have this. I- I- I, th I think- I think William's got a clear route to the- the top. Right, let's see. You're- you're up, William. Oh yeah, so you can go to there, and then, yeah, no, I think he does. I think- oh no! Oh, Fizzy is staying on the trap. Oh, Fizzy's- Fizzy's blocking! So he- if, uh, William can open one more trap door. I think- I think- I think he- can, can, have you got another one you can open? I think- I think he's, he's picking his plan. He's been so careful not to- to fall down now. I didn't realize that, like, parkour was gonna become such, like, a big part of the game. I think it was all gonna be down to the strategy. Alright, oh, he's got an opening. He just needs to- if he- if he misses his jump, though, Fizzy's got a chance. He- he's probably never been so scared. Oh, but he made it! He was able to make it to the top, and William is the winner. Oh dear, so so that means what we got then. So we got William going up against Polly in the, the final. But tell you what, seeing as I think we got time, let's let's see who's gonna become third and fourth place. So let's do a 1v1 with me against Fizzy, and that's gonna see who's third and fourth place, and then we do the uh, the grand final uh, at the uh, at the end. So right, it's my turn to go first, because I haven't gone first, although I have kind of realized that it probably doesn't help you too much, but uh, right then, uh, let's flap open this, and uh, flap open this. Oh, sneaky! So there's nothing in the rules against that. Very so. Okay, I'm gonna. <laughs> oh, I can't go past him though. I, I tell. I, I can stay like right behind him. Then at least he can't like turn around and try and try and block me off. I like these these bold strategies we're seeing from Fizzy. You know what? Now it's a one v one. I can focus like way more on like trying to block because look, if I flap open um that one. Like, uh, oh no, maybe, uh, that one. Oh no, he's blocking it so I can't flap. You know what, he can't win this round anyway. He's not high enough. So tell you what, let's, let's just focus on me for a bit. And let's go to here. And I want to make sure he can't jump past me. But I think that's okay. So tell you what, let's do that. And then I'm going to flap one up there ready. And then hopefully I can make my way to it on the next go. Right. Your move, elephant. Your move. <laughs> Uh, oh, 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 what's he doing? Oh, he's, he's, oh, he's blocked, oh, he's blocked me, and now he's got up really high. Right. Um, wait a minute, if I, because I can flap them down, because no one's been flapping them down. Is there a way I could flap one down? Or should I just focus on blocking off Fizzy here? Because Fizzy might win otherwise. You know, you know, I think I'm going to focus on blocking off Fizzy. Right, I'm going to make sure I get the right ones here. Let's go, like, boom, and boom. And just completely <laughs> trap him in. And then, oh, let me go jump up. And just try and get into another good position. Before <laughs> before he gets here. <laughs> just get up as high as I can. Oh, let's go to here. Let's go to here. Okay. Okay, right. And then it's, uh, it's Fizzy's go. It's Fizzy's go. <laughs> oh, this is 
so tense. I think I think it, it actually works better as a one v one because you're focused so much more on the uh, what the other person's doing and trying to block them off. And when I think everyone's just kind of climbing up, everyone just focuses on their on themselves. Right? What's your move? He hasn't flapped any yet, so he's definitely going to get into a good position. I just want to try and be in a position where I can have a chance. Wait, oh, he fell! He fell! No, you missed a jump, Fizzy. That's the end of the. I guess you can jump back up. Um, I, to be fair, he had flapped his ones anyway. Is there a way I can get up onto there? Um, if I flap that one open, I can get to there. Like, yeah, look, let's let's flap you. And then let's get to here. Oh, oh, no! Oh, I'm okay. I'm okay. I didn't fall to the floor. I'm okay. But that was scary. Uh, and then now I just need to not miss my jump to the end. Right, it's all, it's all on this. It's the easiest jump in the world, but all the pressure- And I did it! I managed to make it! Oh, that was such a fun back and forth game. I definitely prefer the 1v1s. And all Mittens got so excited, she just had to come up and see what all of the, uh, the commotion was about. Uh, actually, tell you what, I'm gonna go up to the, um, I'm, I'm gonna go up to the top. Because I want a, a good view of the uh, the action uh, for the uh, the grand final. So uh, do I have any blocks? I do. Let me just place a block down here. So I want to be I want to be out of the way. Uh, so yeah, if you get all of the uh, the trap doors down ready, and um, tell you what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot an arrow uh, down on the floor. Whichever one of you grabs the arrow gets to go first. Okay, is I think the uh, the fairest way I can do this. I'm gonna try and shoot it right in between the two. Fizzy. You can't grab the arrow, okay? This is this is the grand final between William and Polly. So, uh, right, I'm going to tell you, if you stand with your backs against the wall on either side, I'm going to shoot the arrow to the trap door, okay? Uh, and then Fizzy, if you just stay, like, really far back, and then Fizzy, back off, Fizzy, right. Go, get the arrow, get the arrow. Oh, who got it? Who got it? Oh, Polly got it, Polly got the arrow. Right, okay, Polly, you get to go first. I really don't think it is a big advantage, or maybe it is actually a disadvantage. But Polly, you got the arrow, you get to go first. No, you got to go first. The rule isn't you get to pick, the rule is you go first. <laughs> if you didn't want to go first, you shouldn't have picked up the arrow. <laughs> right, flap open your first two trap doors. Now this is, this is a tense game. Look how look, oh, Mittens is trying to play. Uh, the rule is you are allowed to jump past Mittens if you uh, if you really need to. Uh, Fizzy's playing with a zombie down underneath. Maybe uh, maybe stay up a little bit higher, Fizzy, to uh, to avoid all of the uh, the googlies. We have been playing for a while. Oh no, no, Duncan! No, Duncan, Duncan! No, wait, 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 wait! You sit down. Okay, okay. I, I'm not too worried about Mittens climbing up because Mittens won't take any fall damage. But I get much more uh, worried about when my uh, my dogs try and uh, jump up. Anyway. What's going on with that? I don't even know whose go it is. So uh, let's just let them keep on playing out, and then we'll we'll see when someone uh someone gets close. I wonder if they're going to be like focusing more on uh trying to to climb up themselves, or if they're going to be like really focusing on blocking each other off. I think like me and Fizzy had like a quite a good back and forth where like one of us was a uh, was was really trying to 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 get to the end, and like we'd try and block them, and then we kind of keep switching it around. Whose go is it? Like no one's got oh, there. Okay, it's William's go. William's go. I think you have to have a, a big think about where he wants to, to go. He's getting like about halfway up now, uh, but uh, he is leaving a route open. And oh look, Polly didn't have a moment's hesitation then. The second William started getting close, Polly was like, yeah, no, and just immediately blocked the trap. And oh look, William's retaliated. William likes trapping people in by putting it above their heads. You can though, just open the trap door next to you to walk across, but it does stop you from jumping up any higher. Because if you just block them like Polly did and block them on the side, they can always, always turn and drop, drop the other way. Oh, so Polly's just going for a, like a complete reset basically. And uh, looks like she's going to go and try and make her way up to the way William was. Oh, really smart! She's using the trap door that she placed earlier to block William as a way to get up to the, the top. That was an ingenious move. And she's now very, very close. She's almost painfully close, but not close enough to be able to, to make it to, the, uh, to the, the top. So let's- oh, William's not trying to block her. I think- is, is William trying to reach the top as well? I, I think I, I don't think he can though. Oh, you can't make that jump, William. You can't. <laughs> I, I, I'm worried William's messed up here. He's he's oh he could try and jump from there. If you fail, it would be the end of your go. <gasps> he made the jump. He made the jump. What an hour! That jump is so difficult! Uh, well, uh, well, I couldn't do it at least. So William, out of nowhere, is the winner! I thought he was going mad and throwing it away by not trying to block Polly. But the jump is so difficult to jump, because you've got to like start sprinting and jumping straight away. Like, I, I can't do it. I, I tried that jump for like literally like 20 minutes. Thank you for, for backing me up, Polly.
And I was like, you know what? It's too difficult. There's no chance anyone's going to do it in a game. And then William goes and pulls that off for the epic victory. Oh, what a great grand final! So that was a uh, Frumpool Dompool. Uh, hopefully everyone enjoyed playing the game. Hopefully you enjoyed watching the game. A very simple game uh, if you wanted to try building it in uh, one of your own worlds. Uh, but that is going to be the end of uh, this episode here. GG to everyone. Well played to, to William. Congratulations for the, uh, the victory. But as I said, that's the end of this one here. Thank you all so much for watching and we will see you all later. Bye!